hi welcome to the video i'm paisley here we go so it's been a long time since we've seen each other since we've caught up let's get into it i'm going to put on some makeup namely jewels i'm really excited about putting on these little face gems and i'll show you how i apply these pretty quickly and let's get into it and I'll talk all about what's been going on with me as I do it. While I apply my base, I'm basically going to do the same thing that I usually do. So look down in the description for all the products I'm going to apply and then so I can just keep talking. So... Last time we saw each other was basically like mid-December, something like that. I was planning on doing everyday December. Joke's on me. There were quite a few things that I did not anticipate and also my own lack of discipline contributed to me not posting basically half the month, but... I had a really great time with Michael's family and it was great. I didn't film as much as I should have before. And then also the internet connection was really not ideal, but that's okay. Now I can plan for next year. And then besides that, also school, like finishing up the semester, I needed to do a bunch more school stuff and since that's my job basically like my main situation that had to come first but don't worry I have been thinking about you and the channel so much I I can't I can't so if you've noticed we have a new setup and I love it it's kind of scary though um, so we moved basically as soon as we got back from holiday vacation, but also pretty much as soon as we got back, the semester started, we moved and my partner's been working like there's no tomorrow. So basically everything's come to a point and I think now we're on the other, we're getting to the other side now, thank goodness, but it was just really frustrating there for a minute because I was like, oh my gosh, so I was really overwhelmed, and I was also just kind of scared, I felt like a failure, and all these like sad feelings that one feels when one doesn't complete a task that they set their heart on, so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to posting like getting back into posting and even now as I talk to you like things just feel so much better like it feels really nice it feels really nice I also haven't been wearing that much makeup it was it's been a dark time y'all like makeup for me my makeup feels like therapy like it's just like a little meditation just like a time to like spend with myself and just take stock of my day of my life like um I saw an Instagram reel that was like makeup therapy and it's like saying like there's there's really nothing that putting on a full beat won't make you feel better about like and I like that like having a bad day put on some makeup spend some time with yourself you know and that's really what I was needing so yeah so let's put on this makeup and I'm excited like the first time is the scariest this is my first time filming since basically December like all my equipment was away like I pulled my camera out but I hadn't I have like my I have a semi full setup going on right now so 
it's fun, it's exciting. And now I'm putting on the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I mix the shades Porcelain L1 and Shell L0. I think they're going to discontinue this foundation, which is really bumming me out. And I have already purchased a backup. I know you're not supposed to do that, but like, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I found Shell at... At, at Marshall's the other day and I was like okay it was like four dollars and the foundation usually is like 15 pre-pandemic inflation so um, I don't know how much it is right now but for four dollars I was like absolutely yes so okay So yeah, um, let's see, I'm trying to think like what to tell you. So yeah, we had a, a great holiday vacation, just everything coming at us. So um, we moved upstairs in the same apartment building, I guess. <laughs> so my grandparents, they moved to Florida and they asked that we move upstairs. And now my cousin lives downstairs and it's good. It's been great. I kind of miss the love nest <laughs> aspect, but it is nice to have a little bit of a change and like different scenery. And obviously like since it, we're not in a basement anymore, there's much more natural light. Obviously, I'm not utilizing it right now because I'm filming in the evening, but the natural light is so amazing. Like, it's so nourishing, especially for someone who works from home. I need it. I need it. <laughs> so that has felt really nice. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. Do you ever just forget what you look like with makeup on? And like, obviously, like, I think I'm gorgeous without makeup, but when I put on makeup, I'm like, who is she? So that I adore. So so, so yeah, um, we've been doing some home decor things, which is so fun. Um, we got the cutest beaded curtain from Urban Outfitters. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. There's been some home repair situations. We just had to auger the main, like the pipe, the main line pipe. I don't know. Disgusting gray water. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. So... I kind of miss the downstairs bathroom. The bathroom downstairs was redone, like was renovated. So the shower was really big and all tile. Ugh, delicious. So this bathroom upstairs, it's, it's not, the shower's not as big. It's like a regular shower. And um, we do have a tub. It is smaller though, like I can fit, but like barely. So since I fit just barely, poor Mike being the big and tall man he is, is not going to fit. But we do have a little bit more counter space, which is nice, like on the bathroom, at the bathroom sink. And there's some really pretty built-ins up here. So that's been fun. It looks like I have so much makeup on right now. 
I probably do though because I've just been caking it on with a spatula basically. So yeah, um, the new semester has started. It's going pretty good. Exciting and new. Um, the majority of my classes are online, but um, one of my classes occasionally will meet in person and that's fun. I'm looking forward to that. Getting face-to-face -face interaction is something that I'm working on getting more of <laughs> because I find that I am so much sadder <laughs> when I don't interact with other people. So I'm making more attempts to do so. So like working on campus, like um, doing schoolwork on campus and just leaving the house. Ooh. So in general, that has helped a lot. It's also helped me with my ADHD situation because when I'm not at my house, I can act like when I'm at the library at school, I can actually do my homework because instead of finding home projects to do, instead of doing my homework, I can only focus on my homework. So that's great. Who'd have thought? And at the moment, a bunch of exciting things have just happened this past weekend, yesterday actually. I had a boudoir photo shoot session with an amazing photographer. It was like a whole event, like a whole Valentine's Day event. And my phot the photographer, Just Jess Photography, she's amazing. She was super sweet and like made the whole process awesome. And then it was hosted at the Palm the palm pad. I, I just want to call it the palm, but yeah, the palm pad just, oh my gosh. So Jenny, she's the one who runs and operates the palm pad in Indy. And so it's like an Airbnb and you can also uh, rent it like, yeah, rent it by the hour. So like for photo shoots and stuff like that. And for like my, it's like a micro event space. So if you wanted to have a wedding there or a little host, a little party, it's a perfect spot. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It has a pink door, the decor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Jenny and Jess were awesome. And so is the makeup artist, Leah, if I remember correctly, and the hairstylist, um, Ashley from Ginger Snaps. I'll have to link everyone down below. Everyone was so sweet. I would just cry. And I did a few things in preparation for the photo shoot and for Hawaii. Mike and I are going to Hawaii. I'm really excited. It's going to be our first vacation, just the two of us as a couple that doesn't involve anything revolving, that doesn't involve anything that resembles work or family which is greatly needed because pretty much everything involves work or family, which of course I love our family and I really appreciate Michael's job. But sometimes, especially over um, our six years of being together, it's good to get away and not have to worry about anyone but us or an anyone or anything but us. So I'm really looking forward to that. Like I never in a million years would have ever thought that I would get the opportunity to go to Hawaii. And so when Mike got those tickets and it's coming up on our six year anniversary, it was just the six year anniversary of our first date. I'm so happy, but yes. Okay. I just keep playing with my hair. So um, my hair is all loose curls styled by Ashley. And I can't, I can't stop playing with it if you can't tell. Okay. 
so let's see so these are the gems i've got white red well white clear red hot pink and light pink let's see I'm kind of nervous about how this is going to turn out, but we're just going to play around and see. We're going to be brave. Okay. So let me put on eyeshadow first. I'm going to use the Jackie Ina um, palette with AVH. And this palette, I think, has to be one of my favorite palettes of all time. And applying Supreme mostly in the center I have like roundish almond shaped eyes from my guesstimation and so I really like rounded shapes on my eyes for makeup for like the eyeshadow shape Yeah, so in anticipation for the boudoir photo shoot and Hawaii, I got a wax, I got my nails done. I'm actually going to get them done again right before. these. This is a two-week old set at this point, but look at how pretty. I'll post a better photo on Instagram. So, in short, I've been running around. I also got Botox. Oh my goodness. I was hoping, I don't know, I didn't really plan ahead, but I was in my mind, I thought that I would be able to have a chance to go again to Salt Lake City before, before everything, before all of this, but um, that didn't happened because obviously I didn't plan ahead for it and so I was looking online I was like okay like where can I get Botox in Indianapolis that's gonna look good and honestly I wasn't I had anticipated the price because in the past when I've gotten Botox they've given me the whole enchilada so in the past I've gotten up to 80 units in my entire face like just a little here a little there a little here like so in my mind I was ready to spend the thousand dollars I was like breaking up a metal piggy bank like I had sold um, some furniture um, during our move so I was, I was ready and, um, I found this place, um, this plastic surgeon's office, Turkle and Associates in Carmel and they had great reviews. Their work looked really great and I decided to schedule an appointment with them and they had one that same week. And I was kind of nervous when I went because I, um, I had been, a, uh, most of the times I've done it, I like went to Salt Lake and I've been a model. And so that's how I was able to do it, <laughs> um, a few times because it's, it's kind of expensive, but think about it. If you're altering your face, it kind of like, it's expensive because it requires a certain level of experience and know-how and like, the right tools and the right um products like and not just like oh makeup but like neurotoxins you're talking about things that paralyze your muscles temporarily so um Turkle and Associates it was $12 a unit which I think is pretty standard market rate on the way to my bikini wax 
I, okay, on the way to the place that I got my wax at, I saw an advertisement, like a billboard that said like this place, blah, 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 eight fifty a unit, like $8 and 50 cents for a unit. I was kind of scared. I was like, $11 a unit. Awesome. $10 a unit. Pretty cool. A $9 a unit event must be pretty special. $8.50 on the regular? I'm scared. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, obviously, like, I've never seen that place. I was just like, that's just, that was just my first impression. I was like, beware. <laughs> so, let me get something on my lips. I'm going to apply this Buxom Lip Gloss in Kimberly. So, yeah. Um, my girl Amy at Turcon Associates, she's great, she's fabulous. Um, so yeah, with, so I got like 67 units and I had an Alley gift card that I had already purchased like last year on Botox day. And, um, I also had my $50 deposit, like, when I booked my appointment. So, that took down the price pretty significantly. And, yeah, I ended up paying, like, a little less than $700 for 67 units. But, again, the, I had my little gift card and the deposit. But, I'm excited. It's not going to settle in yet. It takes, um... So Amy said it takes two weeks. In the past, I've seen, I've seen like things start to like really happen in seven days. So, I mean, already I feel that the line on my forehead has relaxed quite a bit because usually it's like, like right there. Like I've just like seen my dad's forehead line march across my forehead, which is fine. We both are very like anxious warriors but I just don't want it to look like that all the time. So let's put on some of these face gems. So I have these heart face gems and I also have this little kit here I purchased from Amazon. So I think I'll apply maybe just one. This one is the smallest one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. Here's my lash glue. I'm going to dot on just a little bit. There's technically some adhesive already on this gem, but I'm not going to trust that. So I'm going to let that wait for a second while I eye up where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put it I put it like here I don't know like or maybe yeah maybe I'll put it like right here on my cheekbone we're slowly but surely doing it okay we're on from this angle it looks like a pimple but from this angle it probably still looks like a pimple. <laughs> okay, so in my little kit, I've got this. Let me see if I can maybe move it. Now let's go back to right here like I was initially thinking. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. So now I'm going to apply some pearls. I think I'm going to go with the pure white. What do you think? Yeah. This little wax pencil was included in... Well, I actually don't know what this is for then because it's not doing jack. 
So you just have to work sin miedo, meaning without fear. I'm going to gently prop this between my index finger and thumb. Apply the tiniest bit of lash glue. Wait for it to get tacky. And then apply. Let me go in with some of these little sparkles. I'm definitely going to use some of the bigger sizes just because these are so small. I don't know, like, one must have a great deal of patience and practice. We're on. Besides the things that I have just mentioned, I've just been watching Real Housewives. I'm all caught up on Real Housewives of Orange County and Real Housewives of Dallas. Mess. Messy. Mess, mess, messy. Jameson, what's going on? What is it bedtime? Jameson's roaming around. So, okay. I thought that maybe I was going to put some gems on my eyelids. I have decided against that. I will instead be just applying mascara. Supreme has turned significantly more red than I remember. Maybe let's do a little more so that way we can get a little more pizzazz going. I'm thinking I want to do a big red heart on this side of my face. Let's see. Do I want to do... I don't like that. Okay. Can I do another... Maybe. I look silly. Okay, so this one looked the least horrible. So let's do that. So yeah, now that I'm all caught up on Real Housewives, basically, at least the franchises that I've seen, I'm going ham on, oh no, where'd it go? I am going ham on marriage boot camp reality stars. Oh, there it is. It is so good. It is so, so good. Like, it's bad, but it's good. And if you love reality TV, you know exactly what I mean. So here we are. I 
and just pushed it back up to where it needed to go. I'm gonna do another big round rhinestone. Okay. Yeah, just a little dabble doer with the glue. Maybe I'll do one of these big hot pink stars, stars, hearts. So yeah, um, marriage boot camp is really giving me life. It's so good. Oh, there we are, y'all. It's amazing. So on Hulu, that's where I'm watching it. It says like it's it says season four, but really like it's the season that has Honey Boo Boo's parents. I was captivated. Like it's got couples from Love and Hip Hop. There's a couple from The Bachelor, and um, like you just get to know these people on such a level, and <laughs> it's really good it's surprising like sometimes like it'll make you mad but also it's surprisingly wholesome which feels good it just feels good on my soul you know obviously seeing couples have arguments is really uh stressful but um jim and elizabeth carroll they are so kind like at least from what i can see on the show and yeah i just really appreciate them giving me like raggedy ann cuteness i'm living for it asymmetrical or not so yeah um marriage boot camp is fantastic um now i'm at this uh tara reed is on one of the seasons the drama there if you ever watch it please dm me and talk about yeah, please tell me everything that you think about it because I am captivated. Um, marriage boot camp is delightful. I mean, the gist is really just like make sure that your partner is your number one priority. And um, I can understand why people have different feelings about that but um again like i i agree i agree like like if you and your partner like are in good places like like if if you work on yourself as individual your as individuals your relationship benefits so much from that i say this as i'm in therapy because life is hard <laughs> and real housewives actually like really spurred a i mean even before that i've always been interested in um deep inner work but um, it really spurred a lot of like reflection in me and reminded me or like showed me that there are things about myself that I don't, I don't want to continue to participate in things and like contribute to my own sabotage. I don't want to keep doing that. So if there is a way for me to really investigate that and try my best to avoid that then i'm going to 
seek those measures. So yeah, it's been good. It's really helped me make my own happiness. Because I feel like I like fell into a place where I was looking, I was like, oh, I'll be happy when this, I'll be happy when this. And it's like, no, no, like I can be happy now. Like the only person who is manufacturing my unhappiness is me. So yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this look. So let me undo this. Let me undo these clips. Hello, Cupid. <laughs> this is the look. It's been so good catching up with you. And I would like to know how you have been. I want to know what's going on in your life. If anything I said resonated with you, if there's anything you want to know about my makeup look in particular, let me know and chat with me in the comments. I have missed you so, so, so much. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me in this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.